Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Honorable ones, the judges and finalists International Wali Songo Saints Competition 20 and 22 In here, I will do a practicum about elasticity Okay, before that, I uh, introduce myself My name is M. Samsun Marif I'm from State University of Surabaya Okay, before going to the practicum, this is uh, material and tools uh, with this practicum, any stative and clamp, and then use a mace, spiral spring, and for the last use a roller. In this elasticity practicum, the first tooling the spring to the clamp in a position in the direction of the y-axis. Then measure the initial length of the spring using a ruler where it can be seen that the initial length of the spring is 15 cm and after that attach the mesh to the spring where the mesh used is 45 grams. How does the system on the spring move? The event that occur is when a spring is given mass, the spring will oscillate. Oscillation in the spring itself is an oscillation which is the movement of object back and forth from one point to return to that point repeatedly. This oscillation event so that the spring has elective property. Then wait until the spring is not longer oscillation, and after that measure the increase in the length of the spring using a ruler. And when the mesh is released, the spring will return to its original stage, which means that the spring is an elective project because it can return to its original shape when the part on the spring is removed. After the spring is not longer oscillating, the length of the spring can be measured after being given mass. How many constraints are there in the system? Constraints that occur if the mass use exceeds the maximum mass of elasticity. The spring will lose its elastic properties. How many degrees of freedom are there in the system? Before that, degree of freedom is an indication of the number of physical quantities or difference used to express the completed state of motion and in this practicum because it only used a spring and a mesh the system run the equation of deviation against time which the mean that this system has one degree of freedom the following is an equation of motion in an oscillating system the period of a simple harmonic oscillator depends on the strength of the spring and the oscillating mass m applying Newton to law. And this equation is an equation of a spring system which is a simple harmonic oscillator differential equation. And from this equation, other equations are obtained, namely the angular frequency equation and its period. Okay, this is my presentation. Thanks for attention. Uh, before that, Stephen Hawking said, the past, like the future, is limitless and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Thanks and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.